how did we go from trick or treat bonding with the kids Mommy. to being naked in the sauce's backyard <laughs> over a well, uh, talking Mommy. to Apple? What's up, guys, and welcome back to Grim Parenting. And for today's episode, after failing many, many, many times, we're finally gonna resurrect Debbie from the dead. Speaking of dead, Grim, come on. You're like, you're an overweight father of four, not an Olympic gymnast. Use the ladder. Or not. Screw me. It's not like I'm trying to run the show, okay? Cannonball, a little bit more your physique. Did you just splash Gert Gert? I didn't even know that was a thing in The Sims. Oh, she's fed up. Yeah, she's not having any of it. She came out here to mop all this up and Grim just went and ruined her only suit. <laughs> Don't put on the floral pants. Okay, who would have thought that it would be so complicated to raise a Sim from the dead? Okay, especially for a Grim Reaper. Now, I'm not gonna put all of the blame on Grim. We are trying to resurrect an ex Soul Reaper who he murdered. So we're kind of in uncharted territory. Uh, Wendy says, welcome present. I got a present that I think is dumb. I want to trade it with a friend or give it back. Can I do that? Is she asking for parent advice from Debbie? Oh, Grim, it melts my cold, dead Sims 4 heart. Okay, that present was for you. Be grateful. We don't even have any, any choices here. There we go, we gave her advice. Her manners have increased, her empathy has decreased. Way to go, Debbie. You, you're doing good, good work. Grim, you're getting a phone call. Hey, I heard you became friends with Lily Fang. She's pretty cool. <laughs> Obama, you're like a full Mary Berry scheme late on that one. Now, I do plan on doing something with Debbie and the kids today. Like, originally, the plan was to resurrect her in the graveyard, and then as soon as she became living, we would ask her to marry us. You can't really marry a ghost because it's till death do you part. There's a whole bunch of loopholes. They can just leave you, take all your money. You don't want to get into that. But it turns out you can't really resurrect a sim outside of your home lot. That's probably why the book wasn't working. So we're probably going to have to skip the romance and maybe the engagement for this episode. I'm not really sure. But once we bring Debbie back to life, it's probably for the best. I mean, we want her to kind of get acclimatized to the kids, get on their good side before we go and get engaged and stuff like that. She's doing a great job. Hey, Gurt, Gurt, what, what you doing with that cake? Oh, that's a, that's a smelly brain cake, is it? And right into the garbage. Guys, we're wasting good zombie cake. The neighbors are gonna be pissed. Holy crap, Grim, is that a six pack that I see? It used to be fat folds as he takes dishes out of his thong. There's no time for cleaning out your thong, Grim. We need you to get over here because Debbie is going to get ready to read the Book of Life and restore life. It works. Also, people were wondering if it can work with the copy. This book is a copy of the original and cannot be published, but you can still restore life with it. I assume if it gives you the option, then again, it could break. Wouldn't really surprise me. Grim, what are you doing? You're, you're gonna go wash your hands. Don't wash your hands, come back over here. The love of your afterlife is getting ready to resurrect herself and all the kids like some kind of weird ritual. Score. I'm not gonna lie, Grim. She looks a lot better than you in that little clothing. Grim has earned $288 on his day off from work and one future bride. All right, Debbie, we don't want to give the young boys any kind of wrong impressions here. We're, we're going to change into something a little bit more, um, concealing. She doesn't seem to really do concealing. Fine by me. Okay, so what are we going to do with the kids? I mean, it's not quite Halloween yet. Again, you, you couldn't tell from my freaking weird old neighbors, but I, I kind of want to go trick-or-treating. I, I wasn't really sure, but there aren't too many kid things that you can really do. I want some bonding time. Maybe we can go around the neighborhood and get some candy. You know, Grim can stay home. He doesn't need to bond with the kids. It's not like that's the whole point of the series. The kids are upstairs changing into their costumes. Grim isn't really a big fan of Halloween. I mean, year round. People kind of think he's wearing a costume, so it's turned him off from the whole idea. But like I said, it'll make for a, a good time for Debbie with the kids. 
What was that? <laughs> oh yeah, and, and Debbie picked out her costume. She's really playing to her strong suits. Going as Harley Quinn, she, she's got the skin tone for it. Now that I think about it, I'm gonna have to keep an extra close eye on you guys now. Like I said last episode, death is the safest form of contraceptive. Now that she's alive, they could totally have a fifth kid. I don't want a fifth kid. Four is already like three too many. Don't tell that to the kids. But I mean, when you're pushing quadruplets out your butt. Grim, what do you? Oh no. You're all going as Llama Man? You can't all be, why does nobody want to dress as the Grim Reaper? That's a cool costume. Llama Man is lame. Oh, come on. Gert, Gert, did you have a hand in this? Is this because I splashed you when I jumped in the pool? Look at that face. That's an I bought four Llama Man costumes face if I've ever seen one. <laughs> well, I know one stop we're making tonight. Okay, well, I guess we might as well get going. Grim, you're, you're just gonna have a fun time here by yourself. Try not to, like, yeah, uh, invite llamas over, burn the house down, bury Gurkert, I don't know. I can't even tell you guys apart. Like, you all dressed as llama man, four llama men. Why are there no llama women? Kevin had better be getting some great royalties from, I mean, llama man had better be getting some great royalties from this. Are we all here? One, two, three, four. Yes, it is so, stop wandering off. It is so difficult to wrangle these kids. No, you're not going to bed. We're gonna go bond over trick-or-treating and getting candy from the ghosts next door, okay? We're gonna come over here. I'm sure there's a way into this freak show somehow. Knock on the door. And we're gonna ask them for candy. Clearly they have candy. If they don't celebrate Halloween, then I don't know where we're gonna succeed. To answer your question, yes, it does look like this year round. I guess when you're a ghost, Halloween is a big deal. I mean, if you were a reindeer, would you wanna live in a Thanksgiving shaped house? No, of course not. You would wanna live in a Christmas house. So we just walked in, yeah, look, Andy. We already did it, kids. So how about we get the grumpy one? Uh, which one are you, Finn? Finn, you're gonna be the very first to step right up and grab yourself a treat. No, we don't want to do homework. Are you wandering off to go do homework? Don't sit at their table. Oh my God. I have taught these children too well. Claire, stop doing your homework. Put it away. Put it away. That's right. Will you be tricked or treated? Oh, it's a fart bowl. Okay. Did you at least get a candy? I don't know if you want to eat one of those fart bowl candies. But, I mean, okay, dancing is good. Usually you don't go into a stranger's house and dance in the living room, but usually they aren't ghosts, so we're just gonna do fine. Okay, everybody needs to get a treat, though. That's kind of the whole point of trick-or-treating, so who's up next? Danny? Danny, grab a treat. Trick-or-treat! Oh, you got tricked by a spooky ghost! <laughs> How terrifying must a ghost be when you're literally in a house owned by ghosts, is decorated by ghosts, and your new mom was just a ghost. Yeah, the kids should be used to this by now. I can't get over the freaking costumes. It's like I'm being followed by a bunch of superhero Oompa Loompas. Will this young llama man get a ghost or a fart? Ooh, spooky ghost. Um, and farts. Okay, no, you got a lot of farts and a, and a ghost over here. I don't know what that was though. It, it seemed like a, a relative of theirs maybe. Okay, yeah, that was the kids farting and not the bull, so. Oh, you guys think that's funny, don't you? Okay, well, you know what? There's still one of you left that hasn't gotten a candy yet. Uh, I wanna say it was probably Claire, right? Claire's been busy doing her homework and stuff. Oh yeah, that's definitely gonna scare her, right? Really? Fell for that when when you were a ghost not five minutes ago. Claire, quit screwing around to get your candy so that we can get out of here. Oh, that's not good. Don't be too happy about ooh, uh, about the, the Halloween kids. You're, you're showing your alienness. We, we just say it's part of the costume. Get some LEDs lining the inside of Llama Man's bulkiness. Okay, are we good? Everybody got a candy. We got, we got tricked, we got treated. We had a lovely conversation with the neighbors, right? We live like right there. That's our house. 
<laughs> so it's for the best that we're on their good side. But other than that, I don't really want to hang out here any longer than I need to. You cannot do this while a vampire is breaking in? What does that mean? A vampire is breaking in? I've never even heard of that before. I don't... Oh, is that a vampire? He disappeared. Yeah, I was gonna say, it's probably for the best that he doesn't try to break into this house. I wouldn't screw with Debbie or these kids or even a house full of ghosts. Can I travel yet? What's a vampire break in? Oh, I can travel now. I've never seen that before. Okay, I don't know how many stops we're gonna get to make because... Okay, I don't know how many stops we're gonna get to make because the kids have to go to school and we spent most of the night at a ghost's house, so let's make the one stop that everybody is gonna want me to make. Hello, sauces. <laughs> Do you guys have any candy? Um, because my kids need to come in and use your kitchen table to do homework. What's stuck up your butt, Kevin? Don't like unwanted visitors? Daisy Bozo, I hear that there is a world famous circus in the city. Let's go check it out. Wait, what? Circus? Oh, I don't think that's one of those things that I can actually bring the kids to. I don't really want to go to a circus with a sad clown. That doesn't sound like a very fun time. No, I think I'm good. Thank you. Okay. Um, yeah, they don't really have their Halloween decorations up, do they? I mean, I will be doing stuff with the sauces for Halloween. I'll get to it. Those will be episodes, but uh, I haven't really gotten to it yet. Oh, oh, Debbie, go introduce yourself. Actually, I guess none of you guys really know the sauces, do you? Like at all. Grim obviously doesn't like them all that much, and he might have instilled that to the kids a little bit, but... Uh, what? Debbie just got the gardening skill? No, Debbie, you can't just go and pick their garbage fruit. Are you out of your mind? I mean, eat, eat all the evidence. E eat the trash fruit. This is what you get, okay? If, if you're gonna steal Tommy's trash fruit, then you best believe you're gonna eat it and let us know if it's good or not. That's how Halloween works. Sometimes you get candy, and sometimes you get a mouthful of garbage. How is it? What is wrong with Kevin? <laughs> oh, he's going to work! No! Okay, well, you know what? When you're leader of the free world, sometimes you're quite busy, and all the kids went to school. That's just great. Come to think of it, if I were Grim, I would not want this meeting- Oh! Oh, it's not going well. Oh, that's good. I was gonna say, Grim kinda cheated on Barbie, so probably don't want to pass that along to the new wife. Let's not make friends. We were supposed to be trick-or-treating with the kids, not whining and dining with the sauces. This just went way off track. What is wrong with all of the sauces? I don't remember leaving them in an angry state. Emma is like clenching her fist. She looks like she's ready to lean off and, uh, and, and, and arrest some criminals. Oh, she's going to work. Uh, Debbie? I'm pretty sure the last person to woo to skinny dip in the sauce's hot tub was murdered. Then again, he was a robot, so it probably wasn't murder. When you kill a robot, is it murder? I don't think it is. But, uh, okay, maybe we'll buy you a hot tub if you like them that much. <laughs> just, just don't steal Apple's wife. No, don't be low like that. I don't know what you're into. I mean, everybody's gone to work and school. We're just kind of hanging out here with uh, Evie and uh, Apple, and I don't even know who else is around. Do you feel lucky? Wonder what the old well is up to. The well doesn't really like the sauces. We've come around to nicknaming it that dick well, but maybe he has a certain affinity to uh, beautiful, naked, embarrassed women. Why are you embarrassed? If you were gonna be embarrassed, then you shouldn't have gotten out, you shouldn't have gotten into the hot tub naked in the first place, okay? This is your own doing. So how about we make an offering of a thousand dollars because it's Grimm's money, what do you care? There we go, we're gonna make him real happy. And then make a wish. What do we want? We get happiness, simoleons. We could try to cash out and get more than a thousand back. We could wish for skills, youthful vigor, or mm, nope, no children. Um, let's wish for skills. I'm curious what you can get, or or what could go wrong. Green is probably good. That's what I'm talking about. That dick. Well, oh, ooh. ooh. Debbie has started down the path of mastering a new skill. Check her skill panel for tips on 
further progression. You couldn't even tell me what? I see nothing of interest. She's kind of good at, well, nothing, actually. She's level one of everything, so we just spent a thousand dollars to give us the equivalent of dropping a bowling ball or frying an egg. Well, you know what that means, Debbie, we should, oh, we can't make another wish. Debbie has already made a wish recently. How did we go from trick-or-treat bonding with the kids Mommy. to being naked in the <laughs> sauce's backyard over a well, uh, talking Spotted. to Apple? Seneca, the Sims just takes you in, in weird places. <laughs> so, I don't really... Oh, yeah, what? Now you're just realizing? D don't act like you wouldn't want a piece. Don't actually try to break her up with her wife. That was a joke. Woo. Oh, that's some Fifty Shades of Grey stuff right there. It's to the point now where I'm actually interested in what she does on her own. I'm just kind of following her around. She's hungry. She needs to poop. So she's going to make a grilled cheese sandwich. That should solve one of those two problems. What's your problem? This is inappropriate. Please stop. Is it the naked or the grilled cheese? Because I'm not eating the naked, but this grilled cheese looks delicious. It's so funny because I'm always getting comments from people saying, why is Grim always wearing a Speedo? Why is Kevin always naked fire dancing in the backyard? 99% of the time, it's not my doing. She decided to go skinny dip and then just not put any clothes back on. I'm not gonna tell her to put clothes back on. She's a strong, independent woman. If she wants to make a grilled cheese sandwich in a stranger's house and sit on their chairs naked, then more power to her. Who are you to tell her that she can't? No, no, don't, don't. Oh, come on. <laughs> she, are you really? What? Yes, okay, Barbie, I'm aware. Sleeping in your parents' bed naked is probably not the coolest thing to do. This is inappropriate, please stop. Okay, that's two strikes. Three strikes, we're getting kicked out of here, so what do you want to do next? We could just awkwardly stand here next to each other. So, I uh, heard you used to bang my boyfriend. Look what he's got now. Why is this flirty? Luna. Why is this flirty right? Whoa, 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 hold on. Oh, it's this thing. It's a flirty emotional aura. I'm not doing this. I mean, I can't even control Barbie right now. Yes, I know I'm naked. You still seem shocked, but you're not kicking me out. This is a love triangle that we do not need. Okay, Debbie, this cannot happen. You cannot get with Barbie and Grim after Grim and Barbie that whole no no just just stop being flirty to each I'm hands off right now okay I'm just gonna let stuff happen I'm not even gonna edit right now because I want you guys to see that I'm not doing this people tend to think that uh I maybe tip the scales and and try to make conversation go the way I want it to but they're like getting ready to Barbie. What's going to happen when your parents come home and find you, yeah, with a naked yeah, woman boy. on their bed? You, you're not even into women. You've had multiple boyfriends. What is happening right now? Okay, they've stopped flirting. And you know what? I might not be able to tell her to stop, but I can disable the emotional aura. There we go. Now we're happy. Now she walks wow. away. <laughs> that is a powerful little bottle of champagne. Uh, Tommy? You okay, buddy? What did we say about falling asleep in the hot tub? It's not good for you, especially with the uh, predatory women in your house. No, 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 you can't. Okay. Shh. Don't wake him. Is... I'm not doing any... Okay, she's just... She's just getting her hand... Her hair wet. I'm... Blah, 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 blah. <laughs> Tommy, please tell me you're wearing pants. Get, oh, thank God. Okay. There we go. This is just, this is a whole steamy oh. interaction. Oh, it's just <laughs> naked women. Oh yeah, th that's the reaction I would expect from Tommy. Well, Kevin's home and Barbie seems to be explaining the situation about the bed right now. So I would imagine we're gonna be getting kicked out of here any second now. Okay, enough is enough. I'm gonna have to ask you to leave and uh, yeah. He's just gonna see us to the door. Uh, it was fun. Thanks for having us. Too bad you didn't have any candy, assholes. But I think that's gonna be it for this episode of Grim Parenting, guys. And honestly, going into this video, I had no idea what I was gonna do. 
I, I wasn't sure if the resurrection was actually going to work or if I was going to have to try again and that would take up another full video of screwing around, but you know, whether you're coming back to life or you're trick-or-treating with your new kids at a ghost house or you're naked in a stranger's home eating a grilled cheese sandwich and flirting with their daughter, The Sims manages to find a way. Thank you so much for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed and I'll see you next time.